Okay guys, Bernardo Faria here, I'm here with my Yuki for today tie, huge honor for me. And guys, today I'm going to show you guys here uh, my favorite way, the most efficient way to finish the double leg, okay? And guys, I started Jiu Jitsu in 2001, back when I was 14 years old, and a big spike in my career was in 2015 when I started doing wrestling, okay? 2014, sorry. And the reason why was because most of my sweeps ends up with single legs and double legs. So adding wrestling to it was a huge change in my game. And I would say that the main change, which I think it's going to favor all the old guys who are watching there, is that once I learned how to finish the double leg, I learned how to finish my sweeps without spending as much energy than I used to. And if you think about it, Let's say that you're playing, you're finding someone, you pull half or whatever, and you get the sweep without getting exhausted. That means that you're gonna have a lot more energy to pass this guy guard. So this was a huge help for me, like because I would pull half guard, I would sweep then, I'm not gonna say easy, but without getting exhausted, and I would get on top with a lot of energy to pass that man's guard. Okay, and there are two things that made a huge difference for me to learn how to finish the double. One thing is when they're standing and I'm the double leg, and the other one is when they sprawl and I'm on the knees, and you're gonna see that both are very similar, and that's exactly what I wanna show you guys. So for example, guys, when we go for the single leg over here, okay, let's imagine that I'm here. Before I learned wrestling, I would always try to take them down driving forward, okay? So I would try to control their legs and push forward and finish the double, okay? And there was always, like some timing involved as well because I would time the time that they're driving when they're driving forward I would look, I would shoot and get the the double leg okay but many times what happens is I get here for the double leg and he kind of sprawls a little bit okay so now it's not as easy anymore to finish the sweep guys super easy all I have to do here is I'm gonna lift this leg up I'm gonna raise my head over here and now instead of going forward I'm gonna go sideways and the double leg becomes 10 times easier, okay? So one more time, so I'm here, I have the double, instead of going forward, I lift this leg up, my left leg, I can even drive my right knee forward a little bit over here. Now I drive my left leg a little more, and now pay attention to this, my head grows, my right hand pulls his knee, and I finish the double, okay? So guys, this is when they're standing. But brother, what about if they fully sprawl? Okay, so I got the double here, and they really sprawl like this. Yeah, it's pretty similar. All I have to do here is, I'm gonna lift my left leg up, I'm gonna drive forward with my right knee, and I'm gonna apply the same thing. And I can finish the double leg like 10 times easier. So one more time here, I'm gonna do the sprawl, I'm gonna do the double leg, he's gonna sprawl, and he's gonna almost like flat me out on the ground, right? So pay attention. Here, oh, he's gonna sprawl. Guys, if I try to go forward, I'm gonna get exhausted. Instead, I bring this leg, I bring this knee, and now, super easy for me just to go sideways. So the idea is, I'm here in the double leg, I don't wanna go forward. What I wanna do is this, look. All right, so one more time. Fighting against Ty, here in the double, he's gonna sprawl. Instead of going forward, I lift his leg up, I bring this knee in. Can you see how he loses his balance? Even without completely finishing the move, he was already falling, falling, okay? So guys, this made a huge difference in my career because one thing is you go for the double leg either from standing or from half guard and you have to spend a lot of energy to finish that position. And then when you're on top, you almost have to take a break to breathe and to like get restructured in the, in the match. And another thing is, you go for the double leg or you go for the, for the half guard, and you very efficient get the position, and now you're on top with all your energy to start passing the guard. So make sure to try that out. This was a huge difference in my career. If you follow my career, you can even you can almost like watch the videos before 2014 and after 2014-15 and you're going to see how much easier it became for me 
to take people down either from half guard or from the standing and then i was like full force on top trying to pass that man's guard very good example is against the one of the biggest legends that our sport ever had that unfortunately passed away leandro low i would get the sweep on him without spending too much energy and i have all my energy to try to pass his guard so that was kind of the key there and i give a lot of credit for wrestling because to wrestling and to this move because knowing that everything became much easier okay and guys this video is part of my newest instructional video the jiu-jitsu for old guys fundamental game plan so make sure to check it out maybe by the time you watch it's already at bggfanatics.com and in this instructional my goal was really to try to help you to create your game plan based on my game plan using all these fundamental techniques and details that i have been working on so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check it out at bggfanatics.com. And thanks so much. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.